Hello everyone. As you can see, this is a FSM 350W FM chest reader. And because of the huge upper power, it's a little bit different from the others. So, um, and there are some common questions that people always concern about. And hopefully this video can provide some useful advice for you. And let's get started. So the first common question is why can I turn on my FM transmitter? And there are several reasons can explain. The first one is you should make sure that your um, power supply is still working because a broken power supply can cause these questions. And the second one is that you should check whether the fills in the power socket is still intact. If the fills are already burned out, you are supposed to change the whole power socket. And also, if you still cannot turn on the FM transmitter, you can leave your question below. Maybe we can figure out what's going on there. And the second question is, why is the standing wave ratio is higher than 1.5? And also, the first reason may be that you should check your antenna because if the antenna hasn't been tight enough, the um, standing wave ratio might be high. So you should make sure that the antenna is tightened all the way, like that. Okay. And the second reason is that you should choose a correct, a proper antenna for your FM transmitter because a wrong antenna also can result in a high standing wave ratio. Find a suitable antenna for the transmitter so it can solve the problem, right? And the third one is the standing wave ratio depends on both the RF output power and the reflected power. So if there are too many things around the antenna, the reflected power will get higher, which can cause the higher standing wave ratio. So make sure that you have moved all, remove all the things around the antenna and to lower the reflected power. Yeah. And the third question might be, um, if you hear the beep sound, that might be the um, temperature alarm. And the first thing is that you should check the fan inside, whether it's broken or not. So I'll show you how to open it and check the fan. So when you found that the temperature of the transmitter is too high, you should firstly check the um, fans here and check whether it's still working. And also if you found there are too many dust inside, you should clean it up. And the second one, as we mentioned before, connecting the wrong antenna can also result in a high standing ratio, wave ratio, and the high standing wave ratio also can produce much heat. And in this case, you should find a proper antenna for it. And the third reason might be, um, you should be careful that you, you can't put a lot of things around the FM transmitter because it will block the air circulation. In this case, you're supposed to clean up the dust inside the FM transmitter and remove the things around. And the fourth question might be um, that if you find the signal trouble trouble is really short. First reason may be that if there are any barriers around the antenna and then it block the signal. So we will recommend you to place the antenna higher than the other barriers. And the second one is the low RF output power will also affect the signals. So in this case you should turn on you should turn the power mode to the high motion, a uh, high mode. And the third is, um, we wonder if there is any chance that there is something wrong with your radio. So therefore you can use the other radio to test the signal. And the last question may be the poor sound quality. And the first reason is that um, if the input audio source quality is low, it might also influence the output audio quality. So besides if the volume of the input audio is 
too high or too low, the quality of the output sound is well getting back also. And the second reason is if the antenna is connected in the wrong way in the quality of the output audio source uh, sound will also go wrong. So pay attention that here you don't you can't place the antenna too close to the FM transmitter because it also will um, re reduce the quality. And that's all for today, but if you still have some any questions, feel free to tell us uh, your questions and leave your message below. And maybe we will update it with some more information for you. And thanks for watching. If you enjoy our video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up and subscribe our channel. See you next time. Bye!